Welcome to another edition of It's Only Pots and Pans. This is the channel where the pots and pans does all the work and all you have to do is follow directions. Today we're going to be making the classic chicken marcella. Only I'm making my chicken marcella with a twist. I'm going to be adding one fourth cup of white onions diced and two sliced bacon. I'm going to rinse those bacon until they're crispy but I'm going to be using the fat from the um, bacon to add to the um, skillet to cook the chicken breast. So to get started, you're going to need two third cups of Marcella wine, two tablespoons of butter, three fourth teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one third cup of cold water or one third cup of chicken broth, one and a half a teaspoon of cornstarch. You're gonna be using baby mushrooms baby bella mushrooms or white button mushrooms. I chose to use both. You're also going to be using two slices of bacon, a third cup of flour, six ounces of boneless chicken breast, one fourth cup of diced onions, and what you're going to do is you're going to start off by seasoning your meat on both sides with salt and pepper. And I laid them down on my chicken board. This is the only board that I use for chicken. And I season them with salt and pepper. Once they're seasoned with salt and pepper, I put them to the side. And then I start adding my garlic powder, half of my garlic powder, half of my salt and pepper to the flour. Then I mix that well to combine. Then I set it aside. Then I'm gonna use the other half of my garlic powder, salt and pepper, I'm going to add that to my cellar's wine along with the one and a half a teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm going to mix that very well until it's combined. And then I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to start to get ready to fry up my chicken. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter to the fat that was already there from the bacon. Just put it in the same skillet. It's going to add good flavor to it. And I'm going to let the two tablespoons melt. And while they're melting, I'm going to get my mushrooms together because I'm going to add both of my mushrooms to this mixture. Once the mushrooms are added, I'm going to saute them until they're nice and tender. At this point, I'm not going to add any seasoning to it because the seasoning from the bacon is already salty enough. So I'm just going to saute it until it's real tender. Once the mushrooms are tender, then I'm going to add my one-fourth of the um, white onions. And I like to add it to the middle so that it can get tender by itself. And then once it gets tender, then I'll mix it all up with the mushrooms. like that. Oh my goodness, you should smell this aroma. It is so delicious. So now once I have the onions and the mushroom mixed together, I'm going to take it out of the skillet. I'm going to add it to the plate where I had already had the bacon cooked. And I'm going to set that aside. Now to the same skillet, no need to rinse it off going to add additional two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. I like to use grapeseed oil, but you can use vegetable oil if you want. So once you add the grapeseed oil, then I'm going to add two more tablespoons of the um, butter. I'm going to let that melt. And while that's melting, I'm going to start to flour up my chicken breast. And they call this dredging. I'm gonna dredge it through and shake off any excess flour because I don't want a whole lot of flour on this chicken breast. I just want enough to coat it very lightly. Just like that. So now that I have a couple of pieces already dredged, I'm going to add it to the 
to the hot oil. I want this chicken breast to get very slightly brown. I don't want to cook it totally all the way through, but just enough doneness to where when I add it to the sauce, it can finish cooking. This whole kitchen smells so delicious. The aroma is beautiful. So while that's cooking, then I'm going to dredge the rest of the chicken. And I'll see you in a bit. So I turned over it and I'm starting on my second batch. And when you're done with the whole chicken, you can just set it aside, keep it warm, to put some foil over it to keep it warm. Look at that. That looks so good. At this point, all my chicken is done. So what I'm gonna do is add the mushrooms back to that same mixture and I'm just going to saute it a little bit more and then I'm going to add my chicken Marcellus wine. Make sure you stir it up so that the cornstarch and all the rest of the flavor is um, loosened up and just add that to the mushroom mixture. And there you have the mixture. Now, you want to let it simmer just a little bit until the wine cooks off. And once the wine cooks off and it starts to reduce, then you're going to add your chicken broth or your water. You can feel free to have to add chicken broth and water. Because I end up adding just a little bit of water because it was just a little bit too um, strong for me. So I added just a little bit of water to that mixture to loosen it up. Once your mushroom mixture has reduced down to size, you want it to reduce to get a little thick. That may be anywhere from three to four minutes. Then you're gonna add your chicken. Add your chicken in it and nestle it in. And then just add your bacon on top. I covered it and simmered it for about three to five minutes. And that's it. Chicken Marcellus with the twist. This is the taste test. So now let's plate it up. It can be served with baked potatoes, steamed broccoli, mm -hmm. and here's the taste test. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. It's all up. You taste the mushroom? It's beautiful. <gasps> it's okay. I made it. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this one has bacon on it. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me, huh? Don't judge me. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. See, it's usually not made with bacon. Mm. That bacon is beautiful. You're saying something. Put the bacon on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you heard it from her. She said, put the bacon on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 